In this video, we'll be sharing the management of a malignant biliary obstruction and a gastric outlet obstruction in the era of lumen replacing metal stents. A 77-year-old male presented with severe nausea and vomiting with CT showing a hugely distended stomach. An MRCP performed for elevated liver tests also showed dilated bile duct and intrahepatic ducts. On endoscopy, almost 3 litres of fluid and food material were removed from the stomach, and an EUS examination revealed an adenocarcinoma of the head of the pancreas. This in turn resulted in a malignant distal biliary stricture and an almost complete obstruction of the second portion of the duodenum that precluded access to the major papilla for biliary stem placement. Therefore, a decision was made to perform an EUS-guided cholidocodiodinostomy for the malignant biliary obstruction and an EUS-guided gastrodigenostomy for the malignant gastric outlet obstruction in the same session. A cladogram was first obtained in this patient by injecting contrast into the bile duct using a 19-gauge FNA needle in order to distinguish the cystic duct from the common bile duct. Then the bile duct was directly punctured from the duodenal bulb using the tip of the electroquarter enhanced delivery system of the hot Axios lumen posing metal stent. The stent size used in this patient was a 6mm diameter stent with an 8mm saddle length. After deployment of the distal flange within the bile duct lumen, the distal flange was then deployed within the scope channel, which was then pushed out into the duodenal lumen. After EUS-guided cholidocodiogenostomy, an EUS-guided gastrodigenostomy was performed. Cholidocodiogenostomy was performed first in order to minimize the risk of stent dislodgement in the gastric lumen. A tandem ELCP catheter was first inserted through the duodenal stenosis, which then allowed a 0.025-inch guide wire to be passed into the jejunum. Contrast was injected through the catheter to confirm guide wire placement in the small intestine. The tandem catheter was then removed and a 10 French nasojejunal tube was inserted over the guide wire in order to instill saline mixed with methylene blue and contrast into the jejunum. With a tip of the echoendoscope placed within the gastric lumen, jejunal loops were identified. The tip of a 15mm diameter hot Axios lumen piece metal stent with a 10mm saddle length was then used to directly puncture the jejunal wall with deployment of the distal flange within the jejunum followed by deployment of the proximal flange within the gastric lumen. At the end of the procedure, the position of the cholidocodiogenostomy stent and the gastrodigenostomy stent was confirmed on fluoroscopy and via endoscopy. CT performed 24 hours after the procedure confirms correct position of the gastrodigenostomy stent. If you want to learn evidence-based practices and know more about state-of-the-art endoscopy technologies, please attend Florida Life EUS from August 21st to 23rd, 2025 in Orlando, Florida, where advanced interventions will be performed by internationally reputed faculty from around the world. Please join us at Florida Live, where the magic of endoscopy begins.